to start by kind of talking about that first moment we met. And it, both of you were from complete different um, entry points, really. When did that sense of choreography, telling stories, start individually, separately, I mean? Like, did, were you always aware of that? Or, because, you, you know, to serve somebody else's process, mm. to surrender to somebody else's process is very specific. It's not something, I have to be honest, I haven't done much of. Mm -hmm. I just, no companies ever wanted me. I, I auditioned, but nobody took me. So I never had that experience. I did in theatre because of Peter Brook. So for two and a half, a year and a half, sorry, no, a year and three months, let's say specifically, I was in Peter Brook's process. So that's really the only process I've ever experienced. That's the only thing I've got to go. But it's so different to when you are leading mm -hmm. and you are creating your own process. When did that was there a specific moment? Was it for both, this question is for both of you. I think I was always, I think it's from like, when I was started to train in Germany, very early on I was asked to teach and that included making up lyrical jazz combinations and kind of, you know, taking ownership of what I bring into the studio. And in the career then all, I was always, attracted by processes that would allow me to be a voice in the studio rather than you know just telling me what to do and I replicate mm -hmm. and I feel like with all the processes I've done including Itmoy there was space for dialogue mm -hmm. I feel like I have a natural need for meaning yeah. in in what I do physically I find it very difficult to do something that's just totally abstract yeah, yeah it's interesting because I think that's where we complement mm -hmm. each other because <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm more of a mover. I'm very intuitive and have an impulse of moving. If it's even just hearing music, mm -hmm. I could just hear music and dance mm -hmm. nonstop, and that would make me feel great. And I wouldn't judge it yeah. as long as it feels good. Mm -hmm. Where there's something deeper that evokes in me. So I always love to explore different dance techniques and qualities, mm -hmm. not really questioning it, mm -hmm. but mm, being exploring the physicality of it. Um, may it be like commercial work or Michael Jackson or, you know, um, jazz, ballet, uh, voguing. And I think this is also part of my personality or as an artist that I like to kind of also transform a bit, mm -hmm. like you in different character, mm -hmm. but more physically with the body. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and I, I think from the very, I always love to copy all the MTV music clips and um, creating little choreographies, you know, but later on with the depth it all came um, through your work that really inspired me to really go deeper and really asking and asking for the intention. Mm. That's where I learned a lot from you and also where I think we complement each other in the project of the fall. The, uh, and common denominator with both of you is I could always just give you a seed and you would um, um, you, you would take the seed and you would not throw the seed away, you would take the seed and you would make it your own. And both of you did that. Mm -hmm. um, not just with the narrative, but with the movement too. So um, this combination of movement and um, dramaturgy or theatrical, you both have, for sure. And so now leading into the fall, could you tell me a little bit about the process, this process that you had, which was so intense in 10 days? We didn't have much time, but we didn't have pressure of like, we have to show a perfect result. So mm. somehow we But you did stressed. have 50 minutes of work. But that just happened. Yeah, 40, it, we didn't plan. We didn't plan, oh, we want to make 50 minutes and it's going to be like, we just went with the flow. What's the topic? Let's play around. We had so much material of, nonsense and good things and I don't know we had many videos and I don't really we could do another video actually of that yeah. <laughs> but and then at the end it was really picking the right scenes and putting it together and actually what do we want to say and then the drama joy and the depth came into mm. all this kind of work scratching into the surface with our kind of personalities how did you navigate that drama told you who decided what we always had same questions. He was asking why, and I was just feeling it. Mm. 
and I just did it. <laughs> and he looked at it, yeah, it works. Yeah, I just felt yeah. it. And I did something, something like, why? And then yeah. it was, <laughs> he was asking the why, and I was just doing the physicality. Yeah, but what did and you, then, who decided what you leave out? Because you said you had loads of material. I think we discussed and asked us this yeah. question, and we found, found an agreement somehow. Yeah, and I remember trying lots of chunks and kind of the chunks then grew because we tried something at the end of it and then something at the beginning and it might not have been we didn't start at the beginning and worked our way to the end it was very much something that was growing or like a rising yeah. bread or like a dough you're kind of expanding and then it wasn't even that we we filmed some stuff and we we watched it back and we discussed it but then it was also times where we sat together and we did the audio because we didn't know if we had um, someone who would run the audio for us. So we tried to make a, it as, as much of a through line as possible that can run on its own. And so there was almost like a different part of choreography and dramaturgy happening through the rhythm and, and, and sound and, and voices. And I think it was, there was a lot of layers, to layers of, of what we were referring to. It wasn't just the action in the studio. Mm -hmm. And also our difference, I think, helped with perspective yeah. because it meant there's a lot of moments in the piece where one of us is in focus and the other one is... Uh, yeah, we were, one was out and then we or, shifted, then the other one was out. So it becomes, yeah, and I, I don't know what came first, mm -hmm. the need of the process, us being just two in the studio and we had to step out and let the other person explore, mm -hmm. but also the difference of how we work, I think. Mm -hmm and who we are as artists and movers. But there was something that physically I, we could really connect in terms of isolation and yeah. musicality in the body yeah. that went really organic and quick. What I felt from watching the, the showing was um, an immense sense of trust, mm. but not just of each other, but of yourself. That's a skill. There was a real sense of joy in the work. I could feel there was a real love towards what you were doing. It was a, it was a mission that you both went yeah. to do. Um, but the sense of trust is very difficult to find a lot. Mm -hmm. I find that hard to find amongst dancers, <clears throat> especially because you are putting yourself out there and who is going to be the center at that moment? Mm. I always look at the person who is not the center. Just, I'm just always curious about that. So when you were performing with the box, I was looking where you were and how you were responding. So you didn't disconnect. You were very much connected and vice versa. Um, is that because of, you think it's partly because of your history together through Itmoy, that group? Or it's just your personality as well? From my point of view, I think it's a lot of our personality and we both have an urge to serve the peace rather than serving us, if that makes yeah. sense. I would have said the same. And I think on top of that also in Igmoy, the trust you build, we performed the piece for a year. Mm. And we share, you share the emotions, you share the intensity, mm. the sweat, the... Like... The, the doubts. The, the doubts, the pressure to be on stage every night and to go full into it. Like we, we knew that from each other. There was a sense of celebrating each other. Yeah, no, and totally. And our strengths, I think. There was something about the piece when we watched it, we were like, well, we, we should revisit it mm -hmm. rather than it's now done and now we yeah. kind of go, well, let's perform it here, let's perform it there, let's perform it in specific places as it is. We, we felt like it deserved, after 10 days, it deserved another look at. And when you're starting to make work or when you're in that process of transition, it's about the opportunities in a way, finding the opportunities or, or those opportunities meeting you because it, yeah, it, we need studio space. We need like, yeah. you know, organizational mm -hmm. help as artists, like some, somehow to feel like there's a structure yeah. around a production.